us up there and stuff like that, they can tolerate them. But when they see us, it's complete hatred. And we talking about groups of East Indians and Arabs in Esau and Chinese, and they're looking at us like we're crazy. All right? Because we're under the curses, man. All right? Really, really, like wherever you go, I go to Mexico a lot, uh -huh. and uh, wherever you go, you got the uh, you got the Asians, no matter if they uh, yeah. uh, East Asian, like Koreans, or or, or down here uh, West uh, East Indians, they they taking over the shops, they taking over the little shops at first, the little kiosks, then they get to a, a bodega, then they go, then they get a they go drugstore, then they just get bigger and bigger, then all of a sudden now you got a plaza, we got the Chinese letters on it, Mandarin letters on it. We're like, what the hell? How, how's this in Mexico? You know what I'm saying? But they take over with the Ethiopia, the same goddamn thing. It's at the night, two and nine. Same thing. They take over little shops, then they all of a sudden become big giant. Uh, uh, even on the cranes, you see Japanese letters. That's prophecy. That's that. That's the way it is. That's Psalm 83. Yeah, that's prophecy. You got Zephaniah. Yeah. Zephaniah two and nine. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna read that after Zephaniah. Cause that's why you had that Jake out there. He was fed up. You seen the video that Jake threw the bricks through the uh, the nail shop? Yeah, man. He what he went in there, he threw his throwing bricks yeah. inside of these Asian people's uh nail shops and shit like that, man. Go ahead, read that. This is Zephaniah 2 and 9. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts. 18 nations, son. 18 nations. Son. The God of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom. And children of Ammon as Gorma. Right, and the missiles. Read that again. Come. That's Gomorrah. Come. This is Zephaniah 2 and 9. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, and God of Israel, suddenly, surely Moab shall be Sodom and children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Right. Now, who, if you, who clings to these nations the most? It's these so called black women. All right. They're the ones that cling. In to Moab and Ammon, man. You can see it all in their hair and all on their fingers and on their toes. Yeah. So what's that mean? They are gonna be like Sodom and they're gonna be like Gomorrah. Right. And what happened to them? Yeah. The same thing is gonna happen to these Edomites in these times, man. Fire is gonna uh, 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 wipe you out through the spirit. Go ahead. Even the breeding of nestles and salopids. Breeding of nettles. 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 Breed, the breeding of nettles, the brothers know what nettle is? Nettle is, it's, uh, uh, it stings, it's like a weed. Thorns. Yeah, it's like thorns and stuff like that. So where they gonna, that's, that, that's gonna be the vibration that they gonna be under, man. Getting stung, getting pricked like they did us. Go ahead. And salt pits. The salt pits represent slaveries, man. That's the spirit. The Wadi Hal Bashmi was shot. Hey, be so, get this guy on camera. Cause this, that's gonna be slavery. These are the future slaves, man. It's for salt pits. Remember, uh, 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 John the Revelator. He was he was uh, sentenced to the island of Patmos, and on Patmos it was salt pits. You know, so when it says Moab and Ammon shall be even as salt pits, that's talking about that servitude. All right, that Ibadim. All right, the servants of the slavery. Go ahead. And a perpetual desolation. Right, it's gonna be a continual desolation. You're not gonna be able to build up these nuclear reactors to destroy the ocean anymore, man. You're not gonna be able to farm uh, 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 sea life and feed it to people like this fucking food, man. People eating shrimp. You know you're eating sea cockroaches? When you eat crabs, you're eating sea spiders. And these Moabites, they feed this shit to you, but they don't They don't eat this in their home, man. They eat bok choy soup. Yep. You know, vegetable dumplings and stuff like that. You see these, you see these Moabites and these Ammonites on these random ass streets picking bush, berries off of bushes and herbs and shit. Kobe beef. Yeah, you don't see it. Yeah, Kobe beef. You don't see That's this stuff. Best. You don't see this stuff on the menus when they go in their shops. What do you see? General Sal's chicken. I'm watching this thing on Netflix. Uh, Parts unknown. But this guy goes around, the guy who killed himself, he goes around he's tasting yeah. all these foods. Or dang. Or dang. This or motherfucker dang. went to chi China, and the Chinese over there, they say that's not Chinese food, that's American food. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Go ahead. Now, you are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be up in them shops regularly, whether it be for hair, food, clothing, or whatever, pertain to the curses? The Lord gonna get your ass, man. My God. Hand joint in hand. Go ahead. The residue of my people shall spoil them. Right, and that's, and that's, 
It's gonna happen real soon. We're gonna spoil Moab, man. Hey, Japan is beautiful. China is beautiful, man. Them lands are uh, uh, gorgeous. Right. And we're gonna rule them lands. That's right. Like we did That's before. That's right. Go ahead. And the remnant of my people shall possess them. Right, the remnant, meaning our children are gonna have them because that's what it says in Leviticus. If they children have children, their children belong to our children, God damn it. Yeah. And that's exactly what's gonna happen. Because that's what's going on with us. You know, uh, uh, you have a, you have a so-called Negro Latin, uh, Latino, or mostly the Southern Kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. What are they teaching their uh, they daughters, man? They're not teaching them to grow their hair out and, and, and to keep the dollar in our community. They send them up to shop to get that uh, that weave. And if they got enough money and they up in society, they're going to they gonna drop thousands of dollars, push it on layaway. They show you that in uh, good hair. Yep. Go ahead. Come on, what verse you at? 10. Go ahead. Yeah, read 10. This is Zephaniah 2 and 10. This shall they have for their pride. Right. This is what they're going to have for their pride. And, he, and you Moabites, you proud as hell. That's why the brother was saying, what the hell is a Chinatown doing in Mexico? <laughs> How did the cartels allow that shit? But you know what? They, they all in league. It, it, it really goes back to Esau, man. Because Esau is the is the four, the four founder of coming in somebody's land and setting up shop. That's why you got military bases everywhere. The same way the so-called white man got military bases in all these countries, the same way you fucking gooks, you Asians, you Ammonites, and you Moabites, Chinese and Japanese, Koreans, you got your stuff set up in all these other nations. Because you got the same pride. That's how we can identify you in the scriptures, man. Good. Read 10 again. Come, this is Zephaniah 2 and 10. This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. Right, it says the Moabites and the Ammonites, this is a prophecy, all right? It says they magnified themselves. Can somebody get the map out too? Is there a map, the, and flip the map around so it's the ancient one. Because when you go back, when you, when you anybody who has a study Bible or scriptures, you look at the map, even in ancient times, even in ancient times, the Moabites zoom in on our land. And, and the Ammonites and the Moabites were next to the Gadites mm -hmm. and, the, and the Reubenites. Mm -hmm. Everybody on the east of Jordan had to deal with, with Amorite invasion and Moabite invasions, man. And then you had, I think it was Ammon, and then it went Moab, and then it went Edom in the south, un where it's underneath Judah. Because right. Edom had a huge, huge lot here in Northern Arabia. Right. All right, but now, in today's times, what are they doing? You can put it down out the water. They magnifying their border against us in our neighborhoods, man. In our neighborhoods, even in the rural suburban areas, where there's a shopping center, you're gonna find a fucking, oh, what's the name, a Hunan chicken, or some shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Or Panda Express, look, oh, that's the spirit. That's the spirit, that's the spirit brother, so respect. I didn't even realize. Yeah, zoom in on that shit. What the hell is, what the hell is that doing? In the hood. And, 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 yeah, well, it used to be the hood. Used to be. Over here by Howard. This is supposed to be a so-called historically black college where uh, this whole area should be uh, owned by uh, Jude, uh, the Israelites, man. And the, and Negroes, Latinos. So like in this fried chicken place right here is, is owned by Ethiopians. Oh, well, hey. Reverse 11. <laughs> <laughs> God, Zephaniah 2 and 11. The Lord will be terrible unto them for he, Salah, for he will Banish all the gods of the earth. Right, keep going. And men shall worship him, every one from his place, even all the owls of the heathen. Yeah, read the, verse 12. Come, verse 12. How you doing, Kush? We eat. eat. <laughs> What's up, Kush? Salah. About time to get your ass. Go ahead. Verse 12. Ye Ethiopians. I've been waiting, bro. I can't. Hey, for the brothers who tune in and watch our videos. We, we are set up right here on T Street by the Howard uh, Theater, all right? And next to us, uh, by the Wells Fargo Bank, next to us is a Kushite establishment. And every time these motherfuckers walk by, this dude I just waved at and his woman, they, you can hear him, you can hear the demons scoffing in their head. They laughing, mm -hmm. she walks by, he's got a straight face, he don't even want to look at us, but it's that bitch, it's that, mm -hmm. that Kushite woman every time saying something in her ear, then he looks over and snickers. I know what the fuck that's about. 
All right, and Tazapanya does too. So read that, read that's that curse. Right. Right. That's right. Read, read, read. Gun, this is uh, Zephaniah 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. That's right. That's right. Call on your own Read that again. Gun, verse 12. Ye Ethiopians also shall be slain by my sword. Zephaniah 2 and 12. Read it again. Nope. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. Read it again, it's Zephaniah yeah. 2 and 12. Ye Ethiopians also, also ye shall, shall be slain by, by my sword. sword. Read it again. God. Ye, ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. The prophet Zephaniah 2 and 12, one more time. Ye Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. That's the prophecy. That has not happened yet. Right. The Lord is coming to do that. That's right. Oh man, real quick, Michael 5 and 7. How is he going to do it though? Is he just going to have their, them go bankrupt? That's not enough. These motherfuckers let us into slavery, man. Nope. Get the slavery sign with the uh, the old joint. Where they had us, they had the wood, they had uh, the Robin Hood joint with the wood. They put your hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the stock. Yeah, 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 they had us on a goddamn plank, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. The white man, he hung us. Cush, they locked us up in the wood. <laughs> and the Romans crucified. Like, what the hell? Try to put that around, bro. So he it. Here it is. These two right here. Right here, you have the Arabs got us locked up. But how did the Arabs get a hold of the so called Negroes, the real Jews? How did the Arabs take us across the Sahara? It's through you Kushites, you Ethiopians, you Sudanese. That's the one thing they didn't teach us. I know for me, they didn't teach that in, gr in grade school. The Trans-Saharan slave trade, where they drug us across the Sahara Desert. Read 12, you got Zephaniah still? Two, read 2 and 12, you got Micah, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, read Zephaniah 2 and 12, bro. Uh, this, is, uh, this is Zephaniah uh, chapter 2 and verse 12. It says, ye Ethiopians also Ye shall be slain by my sword. Guess what? Hey, brothers, I want you to remember, if you catch them walking by again, the spirit allows, keep that on deck. Put your marker in there. We're going to make sure they get cursed out, man. You know, 2019 has been a hellacious year. I'm about fed up with these heathens and these scoffers, man. Because all and, and, and the only thing that we can combat this anger, all right, is, is bringing out the true judgments of the Lord, what he's going to do, how he's going to bring his vengeance. Read uh, Micah. Micah yeah, Micah 5 and what's that, 5 and 7? No. This is Micah chapter 5 and verse 7. And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people. Yeah. As a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass. That's right, that's why if you pan the camera as a quick pan, and this is in any city really, you're gonna see you gonna see Jake's everywhere, at least one. You know? Everywhere. And then, what's another way we're scattered? Who makes up the homeless uh, population? Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. In every single country, I don't care what country you're in, a lot of those homeless people are gonna be Israelites, man. Even some of the ones that look like Edomites and these other nations, full time, man, they be Israelites on the low through the spirit, I believe, you know? So the Lord said that we'd be scattered among all these nations, man. And they don't, we don't physically have to be in China. We don't have to be in Ethiopia. We just read it in Zephaniah, they magnify themselves against us. You got, you got, uh, uh, you got, you got, the, you got an HBCU, you got, you got a Metro PCS, you got a liquor store, don't Kushites own this liquor store? There might be Ishmaelites. It's nothing but, it's nothing but heathens, man, but who's, who's keeping these businesses open? The Kush is Kawash. It's Kawash over there, man. Go ahead and back on Micah. God. It's Micah 5 and 7. It says, And the remnant of Jacob shall be in the midst of many people. Right. Who is Jacob? Jacob are these so-called Negroes, West Indians, Latinos, and Native Americans, whether you want to believe it or not. You keep calling yourself African American if you want. Those names belong to a white man. All right? Keep calling that key. Your ancestor's name is Yaqua, man. All right, and, and Yasha Allah. Go ahead. Right. It says, as a dew from the Lord, as the showers upon the grass. Right, you see that? And if, if, if brothers know what dew is, dew is everywhere in the morning, man. 
you sleep outside, if you're not covered, you gonna get, uh, you will end up covered, and it'll be with dew. That's how it is with us, man. The Lord says we like the sands of the sea. That's right. Go ahead, Ark. Come on. It says that tarrieth not for man, nor waiteth for the sons of men. Right, because why? Because Yahweh Shai, Yahweh by Shmiah Shai, has been long suffering this whole time. So when the long suffering's over, it ain't gonna be no second guessing. We ain't gonna be waiting and tearing. Look, judgment, we're gonna be terminators, man. Right. Spiritual terminators of Yahweh by Shmiah Shai. We're gonna be as the angels, as messengers, man. Uh, uh, like the flash, faster than the flash. Go ahead. Come on. Verse 8. And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. Right. Where's that 18 nations sign at again? Go ahead. It says, And the remnant of Jacob shall be among the Gentiles. Go ahead. In the midst of many people. Right. We're going to be in the midst of many people. Go ahead. As a lion among the beasts of the forest. Right. So these, these are all the beasts of the forest. And this is the lion on top. These are all the beasts. The second one's a goat. <laughs> Let's eat him. He's a goat. But then you got all these other beasts. Go ahead. Done. It says, as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. Right, it says as a young lion among the flocks of sheep. What does a young lion do with sheep? You know, they're not playing uh, double dutch. You know what I'm saying? And patty cake. You know, uh, 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 kissing each other. Embracing each other. No, a lion's going to draw out his claws and get busy on the sheep. Go ahead. Who if he go through, both treadeth down and teareth in pieces. That's why I said, man, I pray you how about Shmi Al Shah to be in your will in them times. If I see any of those Kushites that have been giving us hell spiritually in them times, we're gonna run through you like a lion with sheep, man. Right, right. right. We're gonna toss you around. Go ahead. And, and, the, and the so called, and the nigga woman to be working up in there, man. Right. Everybody in that establishment, except for the elect, if there be elect in there. Go ahead. It says, and none can deliver. Right, and none's gonna deliver. Just like none could deliver us during the time of the curses, and nobody still has, none's gonna be able to deliver these other nations, man. Look, if, you, if your nation, your nationality is right here in dark colors, you, there's no salvation for you. The only thing coming for you is 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 uh, the spirit of Yahweh by Shmi Shah's vengeance, man. Right. That's it. Because contrary to uh, uh, to what our people think, we remember what happened, man. We think about things like uh, like that side, but everybody in reverse. You know. We think about these things. Go ahead. Con. Thine hand shall be lifted upon thine adversaries, uh -huh. and all thine enemies shall be cut off. Right, it says our adversaries. That just simply means somebody that's against you. Right? You you come at you go out here and try and get with a Kushite woman and go and go meet her family and see how they treat your ass. You know what I'm saying? Go out go out here and try and link up with one of these Moabite women. They're gonna <laughs> and they're gonna take them back to uh, their family. They're gonna treat you as an outcast man. They're gonna treat you as an outcast. But that's why the Lord said he's going to lift us up against our enemies, man. Against our adversaries. And we're going to wait. You're not going to catch us out here uh, trying to run up in this business, uh, trying to commit some type of arson or some shit. You know, some, some dumbass carnal stuff, man. Like, like even like the dude, the dude with the nail shop. As much as we hate nail shops, bro. Right, right. As much as our women are, are up in there, we paying for them to get their pedicures and manicures and shit every so often when you know you give the woman the goodies. You know? And they being disrespectful. That's why he busted the windows open. They were, he was being they was being disrespectful to his women. Yeah. And you know, he, you know, the black woman God to Proverbs James. Proverbs 11 and 21. <laughs> so, so he bust up the windows because, you know, he didn't want his his queen to be goddamn disrespectful. Oh, I'm sorry. But he got it all twisted. See, those uh, Babylonians are known as Ethiopians. They know who the Israelites are, man. They know who the Israelites are. Like I said, when I went to Ethiopia, they supposed to be keeping the Ark of the Covenant, right? The Ten Commandments, yeah. right? Supposedly, yeah. right? So yeah. these dumbass church people that I was with, he said, you know, be, we keeping it safe because uh, the, the children of Israel are lost. So they asked, well, who the lost Israelites? Your ass, dummies! <laughs> you the damn way lost Israelites. And I said that, right? I said that, and they were like, oh. You know, it was just... It was just 
it was just total chaos, man, because our people are so lost, man. Yeah. They are so gone. God. You know? You got a preset? Yeah, just a little. Yeah. Uh, this is Zechariah uh, chapter 12 and uh, verse 8 that says, In that day shall the Lord, Yahweh by Shimei, I was defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them, and that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God. Read that again, bro. God. This is uh, uh, Zechariah. God, Zechariah 12 and 8. In that day shall the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Right. Who are the inhabitants of Jerusalem? When right. this is not, when, did this happen in uh, Zechariah? Right. Did this happen in Zechariah's time? Did it happen after that? No, we got ransacked, 70 AD. Oh, going back, uh, uh, Epiphanies, uh, the, uh, the fourth. What, what happened, Antiochus, uh, uh, Ptolemy, Alexander, uh, Cyrus, Artaxerxes, all these people. Did, so when is this gonna happen? It's a future prophecy. The Lord said he's gonna defend Jerusalem. You are Jerusalem, man. The Lord's telling you he's gonna defend you. The hell are you out here trying to save all these other nations for? Go ahead. God. It's uh, from the top again. Go it ahead. says, uh, In that day shall the Lord Yahweh by Shimei Awashai defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, yeah. and he that is feeble among them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David sh shall be as God. Right, and that's right. We are. People are going to be looking at us like we are the power on earth, because we will be, man. That's right. David said he leaped over a wall. Now remember, the stature of men back then was bigger than us. So the walls had, the wall, he probably leaped over the, uh, this, what, 15 and 20 foot uh, lights right here, man. Then it said that he was able to bend a uh, uh, steel in his hand, a uh, 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 steel rod in his hand. Go ahead. Which they depict, I don't know if you've seen the, uh, the old uh, Superman. Like the old one, when it was coming on, you know, him uh, able to leap over oh, a taller yeah. building, yep. him, him able to bend, you know, bend the, uh, uh, the metal rod and stuff like that, Cut. straight yeah, out the scriptures. It says, um, it says, and he that is feeble among them, that in Salakia, them at that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh before them. See, this is why we do the work. See, this is the solution. God. Our people don't. Our people don't think that this script, these types of scriptures, are the answers. It's too far fetched. Well, guess what? For you thinking it's too far fetched, you can get killed. You can get destroyed. We don't care. You don't want to believe it. We don't give a damn. They didn't give a damn when the when the world got flooded. The, the Lord destroyed the entire earth, saved eight people. That wasn't a fairy tale. Go ahead, bro. God, that's also why you have what I said. You earn not knowing the scriptures yeah. and not knowing the power of the living power. Man. You're talking about people that are on their ends wits. They're very low. God. They ain't got nothing else going for them in life. That's, those are the feeble. That was us. We telling you, you're going to be like David. But you know what? People don't believe the things that David did. They read Psalms. They read the history. Right. They can't relate it to themselves because they don't think that's their family. God. You got to make this thing personal. That's right. You had a question, bro? Yeah, um, so in the time of Noah, everybody was on the ship. Were they not, the rest of the children not given the word? What you mean? No, the no. Word of Yahweh? No, they knew, they was up under Noah. They, uh, they so, were up, his sons were up under his tutelage. So they knew and then just fell off? What happened? What you mean? Why, no, why? The, the chosen, the spirit, of, the, spirit the, the, the gift of faith like brothers were going into passed through Shem. So the other sons, they went off and did their own thing. They didn't listen. The Lord didn't put the spirit on them because he didn't want them to be the chosen one. But he, that's the perfect balance because we needed those two sons to have all these heathens, you know, to, to play out the different roles of what will happen in the future. But everybody else on earth, <laughs> we don't know because they are dead. Even the animals, you know, the, the animals didn't do nothing. They didn't know nothing about offering sacrifices and stuff like that, you know. Ready for Yeah. Uh, 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 Zechariah 12 and 9 it says and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek because, to destroy you know because because remember when Noah came off the ship remember he was naked let's go to it go to it uh, the ninth chapter because they had they understood some of his sons understood the law um, go to uh, 
This is the nine. No, no, no. This is on track. Everything's on track, brother. Nine and uh, yeah, start at twenty-one. Start at eighteen. Read all. Yeah. This is uh the, the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis, chapter nine. What'd you, what'd you say? What'd you, you got a question? You got a no, I don't have a question, brother. I'm letting you all have your moment. But uh, all right. that's going to be on the street. What's this? What's this? What's this you passed us? United States Citizens Recovery. We're recovering our people right now. That's right. That's right. I'm recovering as well. Yeah, that's carnal. That's carnal. That's physical. Okay. We're looking at spiritual stuff. Spiritual stuff. Okay. Uh, on his head. <laughs> this is not a book of Genesis. Uh, <laughs> chapter 9. This is Basuda, brother Bakusha. <laughs> Basuda. Go ahead, bro. This is Genesis chapter 9, verse 18. Straight to the Gehenna. <laughs> <laughs> it says, And the sons no, of Noah. Seven, brother, hold on. Let me say this because this whole thing was the carnal aspect. And he said, I said, Do you know why? Because it says what? Uh, 400 years of slavery right here. Well, you can. Uh, that's a video. I said, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> no, he said, um, he said 400 years. I asked him, do you know why this happened? He said, because we sold each other. I told him, no, it was another group, another group of Africans, a tribe in Africa that sold us into slavery. We didn't sell each other. Right. But before I said that, I said it was the Heavenly Father who allowed this to happen because we went off. Yeah. He was like, well, I'm not all for that, I'm for that uh, monetary thing as far as uh, getting wealth for our people. We tried this stuff before. You had wealth in, in the monetary system going back with what? The Black Wall Street. Right, who, that's the thing, you trying to get people wealth. Nigga, we don't control the wealth. How much wealth, what are you going to get? You going to get gold, silver, land? Esau controls all that shit. Well, let's go into the history real quick. God, this is, uh, the book of Genesis chapter 9, uh, verse 18, it says, And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be husbandman. And he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine. And he was drunken. And he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father so of Noah, Canaan. So, so Noah was naked. Go ahead. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon upon both now, their know, shoulders. In the, in the laws, statutes, and commandments, it says you're not supposed to look upon your uh, your father's nakedness. Or your, you know the whole list of the people that you're not supposed to see uncovered. All right. So here you had Ham's Ham's descendants went and looked at the father naked. Now read that verse you're reading again. God. It says, and Shem, the other and brother, go ahead. Shem and Japheth, the other two brothers, go ahead. Took a garment. And laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father, and their faces were backward, and they saw not their father's nakedness. So the reason why they did that is because they understood that law. It was oral. So back then his sons knew right from wrong. You know, just just wanted to prove that. Because why would the you know, just ask yourself, you know, why would Shem and Jephet walk backwards and not wanting to look at their father? Yeah, exactly. That's why Noah turned around and cursed, said, curse be Canaan. You know? That was, a, that was the point. That was the point. I just wanted to prove that. Did you finish what you had in Zechariah? No, I said, go ahead. Uh, Zechariah 9, uh, I'm going to start at 8 and we'll read down. It says, In that day shall the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and he that is feeble among them, and that day shall be as David, and the house of David shall be as God, as the angel of the Lord, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, before them. And you hear that? It says, we shall be as the angel. That proves what I said. I'm speaking in the spirit, man, because you, you feel that. You see the way the angels operate. They disappear. They reappear. You know, they, they showing up in the middle of a volcano while it's erupting. You know, you see, while it's a crazy thunderstorm, you see flashes of, of, of light, you know. Those, the angels be controlling that stuff. Well, and I, you know, I think it's the same, if I'm not mistaken, it's either the same word that's for thunder, it's the same word for strength, it's kazak. 
it, it, it's either light, it's either thunder or lightning. One of them is Kazakh, which means strength through the spirit. And we're gonna receive that. Go ahead. Connor. It says in verse 9, and it shall come to pass in that day that I will seek to destroy all the nations that come against Jerusalem. And that was the point. Right. The Lord said he's seeking to destroy. When that hasn't happened. <laughs> when when have when has the whole earth known who the Israelites are? And in that, in that knowing and understanding who they are, at the same time, everybody on all these other nations that put their hands forth on the Israelites are suffering some type of destruction or judgment for what they did. Because all these nations are benefited, benefited off of uh, our blood, sweat, and tears, man. Every single one of them. Them, uh, them ships, the ships that got built for the transatlantic slave trade, it was big money in that, man. The Dutch made, remember when we were going through the Ten Horns? All them countries made all that money, all them Edomites, man. And then that money was uh, uh, spread uh, throughout the world, man. Everyone benefited off of a cotton. Yep. You had Moabites smoking a tobacco, man. Wow. Everybody benefited off of that different type of stuff, man. Because not only just the material and stuff, but the cotton gin to make these materials, you know? Go ahead. Oh, let's go back to uh, Michael. Let's finish that chapter. Yeah, this is First Maccabees chapter 2. In verse 10, it says, What nation have not had a part in her kingdom and gotten of her spoils? Right, which nation? That's a, 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 a rhetorical question, man. You know, <laughs> we've, been in cap we've been in captivity longer than we've been free. Go ahead. Uh, that was it? Uh, that's, straight, that's straight profit, too, man. Straight, for straight profit, man. You got, you got, you got people. You know, taking other people and then put them to work. You, know, you got to think about it. It's, it's an exchange to do business. There's an exchange. Somebody does something and you pay them for it. But if you ain't paying that individual, the amount, the amount of profit that you're able to obtain is, it's man, it, as you can see. You know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. Rack up quick. Man. Yeah. Rack up quick. Free labor. Imagine it. Imagine if you could start a business for free. For free. <laughs> and hire, hire all the uh, the people, the electrical company, huh. the plumbing. You know the uh, the creative designer, the accountant. You know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, depending on the establishment, the bartender, the waitresses, and all this stuff. Imagine they doing everything for free, and all the money that comes in is just straight profit. You don't have to pay nothing. You don't got to pay nobody nothing. And then on top of that, <laughs> on top of that, if you want, you can put them to death when they all done. That's what the kingdom's gonna be like, man. We don't have to pay you Edomites a goddamn thing. You gonna, right, you gonna right. build our kingdom and you're not gonna get a paycheck, man. That's right. That's right. The paycheck is gonna be a fist, man. That's right, and the fist, you gonna hope you gonna you gonna hope for the fist. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gonna hope for the fist. Did it that my fist don't turn into six knives, seven knives on fire with acid on the tips. You know what I'm saying? Some crazy ass where I make you know it could be anything. You gonna hope for the fist. You know? You know, a grown ass, I'm gonna make you box with my five-year-old. You know? <laughs> you gonna hope for stuff like this. Cause we're gonna get we're gonna get you heathens, man. Right. The Lord is gonna give us the we're gonna be endowed with the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei to the to the uh, to the seven hundredth percent, man. Right. Go ahead, Ark. Micah. Yeah, back in my cons. Micah five and eleven. And I will cut off it says, I will cut off thy lucky. I will cut off the cities of thy land and throw down 